Let's connect our Google Business Profile data to Good Looker Studio. First, we'll go to portermetrics.com and you will start a free trial. And remember, now we have a free for our plan as well. So start free for our trial, connect the same Google account that you use on Google Looker Studio. I will select mine in this example, and then I will connect a single data source because we are only connecting Google Business Profile data this time. So click on connect, choose Google Business Profile as an integration, and now it is time to connect my data. So I will click on add account and add a Google account. I will connect the same Google account where I have access to my Google Business Profile locations. In this case, it is the same one as Google Looker Studio. So I will click on continue, click on allow. I need to grant all these permissions, and now I can retrieve my data first. With Portal Metrics, you can connect multiple Google accounts. In this case, I am choosing this one. And when I want to choose my locations, I can select multiple locations as well. So in this case, I will select only two locations. Then I will click on Create Report. And this window means that we have done or we have created our connection. We will be redirected to Google Looker Studio. And before we wait for our data to load, I will go to Save and Share. Click on Acknowledge and Save, and this will publish our Google Business Profile report. Now, I will show you all what we can do with all these templates. Let's see some use cases and examples with our Google Business Profile data. First, I will go to the view mode on this dashboard, and I will start explaining the Google Business Profile KPIs or metrics, and I break them down in three categories, conversions, reviews and visibility. In conversion data, I can find behaviors or measure behaviors like website clicks, direction requests, phone calls, or bookings. All these behaviors expressing metrics represent some value to my business or demand. That's why I call them conversions. Now in review data, or I will say also engagement data, I can find my total reviews, my total reviews within a time frame, my time to respond, and so on. And in visibility metrics, I can find impression data from Google search, from photos, from mobile, from desktop, and so on. There are other metrics related with post engagement because on Google Business Profile, you can actually also publish your menu and publish some posts. But I didn't include them in this particular dashboard, but you can add them as well in yours. Now, I can show you that on Google Looker Studio, our dashboard can be interactive. And as I told you before, you can connect multiple locations in a single dashboard for a general franchise overview, for example. So here I can select the location I want to visualize. So in this dashboard, I am actually combining the data from these two locations. Also, with Looker Studio, I can share access from this report to any users through email, through links, and the ways that Google lets you manage access as other Google products. And finally, I can download this report as PDF if that's an option for you. Remember that I can change the date range. Here, for instance, I am visualizing July data, but I could monitor this year, this month, this week, the, the last seven days, and so on. So if I go here, I will see this month to date, but I could change it to something else, and this will change automatically the date range. I will click here on close, and now I will show you other parts of this dashboard template. Now, if I scroll down, I will show you some parts of this report template. For instance, my reviews breakdown, where I can monitor all the reviews that people do, the stars that they give me, the comments. I see that this is a very bad review and the time to respond was also very slow. And if I go and I scroll down more, you can actually see the post of your business profile location. As I can see here, these particular locations are not active publishing on business profile. So I will go to another page for visibility and in visibility, I will find metrics. In total, I have the aggregation of my total impressions, but I can also break down these total impressions by particular impressions, like impression on desktop, impression on des desktop for maps, impressions on mobile search, and so on. So here I can see a time series with all this data and I can break down which source is driving more visibility or search on Google business profile. If I go to conversion data, it is the same logic, but instead of impressions, now I will track conversions like clicks, phone calls, bookings, conversations, and um, direction requests. So here it is the same logic. And as I told you, you can break down your data by location. And finally, in this template, I will find my reviews data where I wanted to create a table where I can see the actual data from my reviews, like uh, this photo, the reviewer name, the comment, the ratings, the replies that we are doing and how much time we are 
taking to respond. Actually, there is way more data that I can track on Google Business Profile, but I wanted to use it with this particular example. This is useful because you can monitor the reputation of your locations and also how your customer support team is handling these comments. And with this, this is what you can do with this Google Business Profile dashboard template. Now I will show you how you can create and customize your own business profile dashboard for local SEO tracking. Let's create and customize our Google Business Profile dashboard. I will go back to the edit mode and I will add a new page. I will give a name to this new page and it will be called GBP. And I will also add an icon. So I will go to the settings. I will select an icon. I will choose this home, apply, and we have our new page. It is time to add some charts. So I will go to add a chart. I will select this scorecard. I will paste it here. And the metric I will use first is direction request. I will go to a styling and I can do some changes. For instance, the background, instead of this transparent, I can make it white and you can see all the difference. Actually, there is no difference, but I wanted just to show you an example. I can also add a border. So I will go to the border color. I will make it purple and I will add a border radius. I will make it 10. So the border is a little bit more round. I will go to a setup. And the final thing I want to do to finish this scorecard is I will add a sparkline and I want to break down my data day by day. A spark line is like a time series that is beneath this metric. So I will choose date and I finish. Now it is time to copy and paste. And it is just a matter to copy and pasting this scorecard and replacing it with other Google Business Profile KPIs or metrics. So instead of direction request, which is, remember, a conversion metric, I can use something else like website clicks or website visits. If I do it again, I can do it with impressions or total impressions. And finally, if I do this again, if I copy and paste, I can select something like total re uh, reviews within a time frame. So I have my Business Profile KPIs, but maybe I forgot to do something. I can actually do some bulk changes. If I select all these scorecards, I can enable the comparison date range. I will select instead of none, previous period, apply. And now I am comparing the performance versus the last period for all these scorecards. And I didn't need to do it one by one. I can do it as a bulk if I select them all in, at the same time. I will go to other chart. And now I want to create a new visualization. I will create a review performance chart. So. I will select this table, I will paste it right here, and now remember the definition of metrics and dimensions. Metrics are numbers, uh, time spent on site, reviews, website clicks, all these things are metrics, and dimensions are the way I can break down or segment my data, my parameters. So by date, by location name, by location category, and so on. For reviews, I have certain dimensions like the review comment, the review ID, the review creation date. I will start with review comment. I will remove this metric because I cannot visualize visits by review because the direction request is for the overall business profile location page, not for a particular review. So I will remove this metric and I will add some new dimensions like the creation date. I will also add, let me check the a star rating. I can see the actual stars of this review. It is a bad review. And if I go to the search bar, I can see other fields. Like for instance, the reviewer photo. I can add it here. Now we can track our reviews data. Actually, you can add more data. We have metrics like time to respond a review, the review score, and so on. Now I have this table, but to finish this table for my reviews performance, I will go to style. I will remove the round number. So it is gone and I will show a title. The title of this table will be something like reviews performance. Now I am done with this chart. I will scroll down a little bit. I will place it right in the bottom. And the next part is adding a time series. I want to know my visibility. So I want to track the impressions of our Google business profile locations. For this, I will go to insert. I have two options here. I will go to a chart. That's an option or I can go to insert. So on insert, I can select a time series chart. I will paste it here. I will go to set up the dimension. Remember is date. So I am visualizing my data over time, day by day. And the metric now can be impressions. So I will select total impressions. I have a global idea of all the impressions for my locations. However, there is something missing. I would like to know where these impressions are coming from, from mobile, from desktop, from Google Maps, from Google search. So I will start tying these metrics too. I will start with impressions on desktop. I also will do impressions on maps. I will do the same with mobile, with maps and also with search. And I am done. And with this, I have an idea of where my 
traffic or demand is coming from. If I hover on this chart, I can see that most of my searches are coming from impressions on mobile maps. This is very interesting because if I know that most of my searches come from Google Maps, maybe I need to optimize that. Or if my directions are not correct, it's a very good time to fix them. To finish this Google Business Profile dashboard, I will create like an audit table where I can see that all the data of my locations is correct. So I will scroll down, I will select a control. No, actually I will select a chart. I will select this table and now I will bring some dimensions related with our location, the location name, location tag, hours, opening hours, closing hours, and so on. This is just an example. So instead of date, I want to choose location name. I also want to do Google Maps URL. I want to track that the URL is correct and I will remove this metric. I can add other dimensions. If I go to a search bar of fields on business profile, you can see that this connector has many fields. That's why we categorize them in different data categories. And one of them is location information. As you can see, I can bring additional phones, address line, location address, language code, and so on. So you want to make sure that all this data is correct so you can be found on Google. Now, for this table, I will do some changes. And as you can see, I can bring the location name, the Google Maps URL, the category name. I can also bring the AdWords phone number. So if I am running ads, I want to see that this data is correct as well. But with this, I am finished. I scroll up, I will a little bit zoom out. And this is how you can create a Google Business Profile Dashboard on Google Looker Studio. See you in the next tutorial.